Come on, Madeline. She's my baby. She comes so far with me. I love her. I used to have one of those. Underwood? Until I was 14, we had one of those. And then we got the egg and sweat. <laughs> it, it was a vastly different typing experience. <laughs> yes, it is. I love little kids will come up to this and they don't know what it is. And they <laughs> ask their moms, Mommy, Mommy, what is this? And I let them play with it and they can't make the keys go so much too. You know, I'm like, no, 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 you have to use your whole arm for real. I mean it. And uh, actually, that's my th I wonder if people got carpal tunnel less back then since it was a large motor instead of a small motor proposition. <laughs> I, I have no idea. retyping more papers than I want. Ah. <laughs> mm. So I told one small child, I said, well, it's like a computer, except you can only write things. Um, you don't do other things with it. You just write things, and there's no screen. And they said, why would you want that? <laughs> <laughs> so I carry this typewriter around because she feels like me. She's my little totem. Um, my power animal, as it were. Uh, and this song is called The Nerd Anthem. And everyone is reorganizing so as to be able to see the typewriter. Um, <laughs> it's awesome. It is. It's, she's a beaut. You can come play her afterwards. She's fantastic. Relive the good old days. Um, she, uh, I, I didn't want to be a geek, despite the fact that I did. I, what we discussed with the SATs. Um, I didn't want to be a geek. I wanted to be one of the cool kids and like be aloof and distant from everything. And that was the stupidest idea ever. And so I finally gave in to the fact that I, I mean, it was obvious to everyone else. I kind of had to come out myself, you know, and thankfully my family's been very supportive. Um, but, uh, so this is a song that gives me confidence when I'm feeling low. And really, I think more people are geeks than know it. And geeks, nerds, whatever. If you care about the difference, you are one. Um, and, I mean, duh. And, and uh, because I think that being a geek or a nerd is about passion. It's about caring about something. Whatever it is. It doesn't have to be everything. It, could just be, it doesn't have to be computers. It can be something to the point where you're willing to stay home on a Friday night and do that instead of do what everyone else thinks the cool kids are doing on a Friday night, which is actually very boring and expensive and noisy. Um, so, so here we go, the nerd anthem. Mm -mm -mm. Yay. Thank you. Yay, I'm glad I have some support here. This, is all, this song is always still a little nerve-wracking. My insecurities know no bounds. Okay. It's totally my anthem, too. <laughs> I've done something good in this world. Alright, one more time, sorry, Ginger. <laughs> so patient. One, two, three. All the cool kids keep enthusiasm rationed. Right down to the last explosive ounce. But I'd rather indulge my many passions. Even if my squareitude is overly pronounced, perhaps I do not strike you as a geek. Without the horn-rimmed glasses and knee-high argyle socks But nerdery is more than wardrobe deep And I'm a nerd down in my heart and that's where nerdhood rocks I am better acquainted than a good girl ought to be With Aragorn and Yosef Bridge and Worf and Hal and Han But you don't really know me and my culture don't control me So don't you pigeonhole me cause my face are set to stun. Oh, I have been a nerd since long before I could have heard how bookish girls should look and act a certain way. And I'll still be a geek when I am utterly antique because I do not care what normal people say. Mm. My superpowers draining fun from parties. But if I am a misfit, then I'm in good company with Auden, Austin, Hawking, Galileo, and Van Gogh, and countless other weirdos whom you really ought to know. So stow your expectations. I won't fix your PC, and I don't mind being underrated or ignored. The world is much too interesting to entertain on we, so I won't ever play it cool, and I won't ever once be bored. Oh, I have been a nerd. 
it since long before anyone heard how pale and scrawny it was the latest fashion trend. And I'll still be a geek when I am utterly antique. Do not require approval in the end. There we go. Ha, 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 I have been a nerd since my first five syllable word. And no TV series or movie changes that. And I'll still be a geek. Now vote for Pedro. So last week I do not care whether Milan endorses Blad. Ha, 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 I have been a nerd since long before anyone heard how pale and scrawny was the latest fashion trend. And I'll still be a geek after nobody thinks it's chic. You will find that I have nothing to defend. Oh, I don't need your approval in the end. Yay.